TLDR provides example-based and community-driven man pages. In this episode, we're going to install the tool and integrate it with FCF for a more interactive experience. First start by installing from Brew or your package manager of choice. Then typing TLDR where I'll put the help usage for the package. To get practical help examples for a command you provide that to TLDR, we'll try Brew. But this is the first time we've used TLDR and we need to download the commands into an offline cache. So we could run TLDR dash dash update to populate the cache. Now we can run our previous command TLDR brew and we'll see numerous user friendly examples of commands and what they do. If you want to pipe the results to something like less, you'll need to provide the flag dash dash color equals always to keep the colorized output. And then you could page and search through the results using less. If you wanted to list all the commands that are supported, you could pass the dash dash list flag, and wow, that's a lot. To make this a bit more interactive, let's install FCF with your package manager of choice. Now we could try that command again, but pipe the results through FCF, and it'll make the list of over 2,000 commands searchable. You could find things like ESLint, BAT, Docker and its variety of commands, a slew of GH commands, Git commands, and many more. You could take the command one step further and pipe those results to xargs tldr to grab the community help pages for that selected command. For example, show prettier's tldr entry. Let's take it even further and we'll add a preview window and make sure the colors are preserved and we'll make the preview window a bit bigger than the default. Now we can see a preview of the help as we navigate through the list and show the full output once it is selected. You also could consider pulling this into your bash RC or ZHRC file as an alias, tldrf for example, and then you could use that anytime you want instead of manually typing it out. Until next time!